appearance of the living God. And then, of course, there's what Jesus said in the 14th chapter of uh, John. He said, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world gives, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither be afraid. When you and I focus our attention and our heart on the Word of God, whatever we are facing in life, He knows how to help us to overcome feelings with faith. Faith can defeat bad feelings. And I trust that in your particular household that you have a Bible, you have the promise of God's Word in your heart, and He has something to say to you. This is a time not for pleasure, but prayer. Prayer like we've never prayed before. Not a time for fear and depression, but a time for faith and obedience. And what you have to ask is, God, how am I to respond to these things? The question is, what is your relationship to Jesus Christ? And then I think about one more passage I want to read to you, and one that many people know by heart. And the scripture says, If my people who are known are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray. And listen to this. And turn from their wicked ways. A very important part. Turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven, forgive their sin, and will heal their land. Where are you spiritually in your relationship to God? Would you say that your lifestyle makes a contribution to the healing of our country? Or would you have to say it doesn't? But if it doesn't, here's a verse of scripture you need to read. In 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, If we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I'm going to plead with you in Jesus' name, not only for your sake and your good health, but for the sake and the good health of the nation, to surrender your life to Jesus Christ today Trust him to save you. He says, if I confess my sins, he'll forgive me. He will forgive you, no matter what you've done. If you've never surrendered your life to Christ, this is a perfect time to do it. And I trust that as you surrender your life to him, obey the rules that are given to us today. God will heal our land. God bless you.